In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add pictures in Lix. So here's my open Lix program, and I have a new Lix document here, and I want to add a picture. So let me just compile this for you so that we get the document without the picture. So there it is, there's a blank document. I'll close this, and behind the blank document you can see there's a folder in which I store the Lix document itself and then uh, there's a PowerPoint that I use to create this movie but there, here's a picture I want to add so here's a very nice way to add a picture in Lix so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a new line so I hit control oh, sorry return carriage return and then I go up to the insert menu and go down to float and I'm going to select figure so that gets me this new floating box and the cursor is blinking in the caption spot so I'm going to use the keyboard arrows to get to the left of that and this is the place where I want to insert the figure so now I go back to the insert menu and go down to graphics and if I it brings up this dialog box so if I hit browse this calls up the by default the folder that uh, the Lix file itself is sitting in and I want to select the JPEG because that's the image I hit open and there are a few things I can do usually pictures can be too big or too small so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click set width automatically and so I'm going to make this to be a 5.5 inch figure because the page is 8.5 by 11 uh, and then I can hit OK and so if I make this window bigger you can see okay so I have this nice picture it's actually rather big Um, and so I've expanded it so I can see the end and what I want to do now is I'm going to put the cursor just to the right of that picture and then I'm going to right click so I get this menu here and I'm going to hit paragraph settings and I want to use centered paragraph settings and then I hit OK and we can just compile this like I said this is a very big picture but I think it'll work because we set the uh, picture width so there's the document it now has a figure and there's a caption now one thing to point out is the figure placement notice in the code I place the text first and then the float comes in here so a float is an, an object that uh, you basically give LaTeX permission to place wherever it wants. I mean you can really force it if you like but really the concept behind LaTeX is that it should manage the formatting for you in a very nice aesthetic way. So all that to say LaTeX is going to put the pictures where it wants and I generally just live with that. So here's the picture, um, here's the document, there it is. Uh, let's put a caption in I can save that and if I compile this well I get to close this one and let's look at it recompiled it bring it over there's the caption I just typed in now let's discuss cross-referencing so in the caption the way you want to do this I put my cursor in the caption box and I'm going to type insert label and in Lix I get a uh, dialog box that says okay label and it takes the first few words from my caption so I'm gonna just put here fig mountain lake okay okay and you see it's brought it puts in this gray thing here that has those exact characters fig mountain lake and that is the label for this 
figure. So I'm going to type text in the document and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to type or click insert cross reference and Lix brings up a list of all the possible cross references I can put in. So I click the cross reference for the figure we just labeled. That's its label. And I terminate my sentence. I save this, control S or command S if you're on a Mac. I I, I'm going to compile it again. Um, it didn't make the change just because I hadn't closed the PDF, but I reopened the PDF. And then here's the text I added. Here's my new Lix document. I want to add a picture for a beautiful mountain scene, C Fig 1. And here's the nice thing about LaTeX is it will handle the figure references for you. You can change the text, you can add figures, but as long as you keep your labels and cross references that point to those labels, LaTeX will manage those for you. We've talked about adding the limit, the image, adding a label, and cross-referencing the picture. If you've found this tutorial helpful, please like my channel. I will be supplying more tutorials on Lix and LaTeX in the near future.